Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8, episode 2. So after we left off the last episode, I did a little, just a little bit of mining, uh, literally a little bit, like that's literally all I got. Nothing major, got a few more bits, but nothing like incredible. So today... I think we're going to look into silent gear and figure out where we can go from there. There's a lot of mobs underneath me. Like, on the map, there is a lot of mobs underneath me. I think that's in that little, like, hole that's underneath the, the temple. Now, firstly, well, <clears throat> we want to go out and explore a bit, but... I don't want to risk. I'm not geared up enough. I've got no weaponry. I've got nothing decent. A little bit of... A little bit of copper there. What have you got in here then? Seven. And some of you may notice this time around, I have... Put a shader pack on which lights up some of the ores for well, the vanilla ores anyway the vanilla ores glow in the with this shader pack so we're just gonna do a little explore of this little cave but we're gonna look so we're gonna look at the silent gems we're gonna probably make some bronze tools so we need to go and collect up some things to make an alloy kiln. Get this green cycorium because these are nice blocks to build with. I believe they do give off light as well. To get the side of gems today, we will get ourselves some decent, decent tools, possibly. What if we can kill this enemy? I have a trap too. Hopefully we can get ourselves... Oh, really? Okay. Let's just... Just come back to that. I mean, let, let's go and just create ourselves a stone sword from... Just because. And then we will... Advance from there. Oh, that's a creeper right there. The level, like level overlay. Okay, so one of them, one of them. Just a basic stone sword for now, just to tie us over and let's make ourselves another, another couple of pickaxes. And then we will venture into uh, Silent Gear, as I said. Just go and explore that little cave we were just in. It was, okay. Well, there was now. If we can't find any more, any more decent resources. can get us going. I hate like traverse some of the things I got with lava. My luck I normally end up falling in it. I wonder if that enderman is still there. Are we gone? He's still there. Okay. Hopefully we can get our first ender pull from this. Ah yes! Fingers crossed. Yes. Nice. That's a that's a very good thing that we just got. Two ender balls. They are gonna come in handy. Some early game things. Dark or I don't want that upper over there. 
Red Zycorium. Some iron ore. Spooder. And now we got this sword. I feel like we can be a bit more aggressive in the world. Just the one. More. We're just gonna run around this cave, gather up some resources, and then we're gonna try and I'm gonna try and get into a uh, mechanism, I believe. As our first tech mod. It's gonna be quite easy. But it's gonna require a lot of a lot of iron. Gonna gather up as much as we can. Vein miner is such a such a godsend when it comes to things like this. Because you want to dig out everything. You want to go mad. You want to dig out every little thing around the fucking that. You see those particle effects then? They were the ones I was on about last time. <clears throat> Just now and again, you see random particle effects. Are you so along with the, the the slash home i've also got the slash back to take me to my last death point come back and get instant revenge on the enderman I didn't get another ender pearl though which is a shame we got some coal we got some sticks let's make some more torches and continue venturing Light Psychorium. I don't know how much of Zycraft is actually implemented. Need that tin. I think we got enough tin and copper to actually get started with. Uh, with. with I, I don't know actually know if. if Bronze works with silent gear. Um, oh, we can make just the mechanism tools, mechanism stuff. We make the mech the, the paxel, which gives us the axe, the shovel, the pickaxe, and everything all in one. But I had died once already when I was doing some mining. I can't remember what it was from. Was it? What, what was I? What was I running from? Oh, I can't bloody remember now. It was. Oh, it was a, a Wilden Stalker. You know the flying bat ones. Guy just not we clean off the. Uh, clean off a little like, eight block tall ledge. He already beaten, beat me half to death anyway. And then just decides to knock me off the edge. Tin. I don't understand how I get waiting for server in a single player game. It just makes no sense to me. we got on us we got enough right, so let's go and make a slash home let's just make a i'm not going to use this this shovel because it's got that silk touch on it that's going to come in handy for picking up other things such as owners clear out our inventory and then we will go and collect some uh Clay, I think it's clay and sand we need for the alloy, alloy kiln. Uh, kiln brick. This is going to be our way to get bronze early game. And I told to do with bronze. And if I can spell. Uh, 
I can use it for uh, silent gear. Okay. You need either blast chill, blast chill, uh, a fire charge, or you need the actual or the dusts to make it. The ally kill we can do it this way: three copper, one tin gets us the four. And this is relatively cheap to make. You just need coal to make it run. That loads of confuser can do it, but then that requires power. Obviously, the induction smell can do it, but that also requires power. Just dunk away. And I just did. And. There, you there. Let's just get a couple more sticks. We also need to find some sheep so we can make a bed. We have zero way of sleeping through nights right now. Luckily, where we've spawned, we do have the river or. Is it a river? Yes, yeah, a river. Head on over to that Reevar and get us clay and sand. Sandstone and. Look, look at this. Look how beautiful that looks with these shaders. So I will be right back once I've collected up enough clay and sand. I want to make two of these things because I know I'm going to need it to make other things. We're going to collect some clay and sand and I will be right back once I've gotten the amount I need. So I've gone ahead and created and put on, gotten the sand and the clay, did a little bit of crafting that for it. And a quick look through silent gear, green bricks, stone bricks. This should get me my first one. Oh, actually, give me both. Sweet. So, need them. I need some sticks, string, and I need a couple of pieces of iron. Thankfully, tiny coal is in here. Each one cooks one item. Hang on, how much string did I have? 12, yes, 12. We'll use the string to create the bed that we were missing. We can actually have a spawn point and we haven't got to worry about dying and not being in the right place. Pop the bed there. Sweet dreams! Oh, here they come. How's your ghostly shape? Oh, okay. Didn't he know what that was? Let's make our first hammer from immersive string. Okay. So on my left, I've got a few things that I want to look at through uh, silent gear. So we got the Paxel, which is like the all-in-one tool. Uh, the hammer, which will be great for 3x3 mining. But we need the blueprint paper. We need a lot of paper and blue dye, which we have from the lapis that we've collected. We can use wooden ones. But they're like single use. So, these are easy enough to use flint and wood. Here's a six template board. I think we'll just go with the template board for now because like we haven't got the sugar cane to get the paper. So I'm pretty sure we got some. We don't have any flint. Let's go and find some flint. Back over this way. I already miss the creative flight I had. There's going to have a crafting rest. Uh, 
I'm gonna need a few template boards because I'm gonna need like the, uh, the tool rods, the heads. Doesn't have a crafting recipe with. It doesn't. Okay, so it doesn't have a crafting recipe with gravel. This will get me six. 12. 12 template boards. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough to get us started. I haven't found any osmium yet. I'd rather use osmium. But silent gears, you can replace parts and change your parts as and when you need to. So we need some wood. Craft these together. Get us our template boards. Those will do for now. Okay, so we actually there is a I don't know crap. I got earth shard, didn't I? There is talent gears progression. I guess it's a blueprint pack. A blueprint package. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Happy days. Don't need that. We have the blueprints we need. Other than the hammer and the paxel. But this will do for now. That one go away. That knife can go away. So we just need to do these ones. We have the sword, pick, shovel, axe, and the tool rod. Okay. So next, make blueprint paper. I'm going to make blueprint paper right now. Your first tool. So to make these, you just need to craft the part with whatever metals you want to use. So we stick some half stack of you, half stack of you. And that should be everything I need. You. Oh, that's the need. I need to put these over here for it. And then once these are cooked up, we can start making our tools. So I think while we wait for that, we will just we will just head back over to that cave we were in and you know, try and find some more resources. Because they're going to take a little bit of time to hook up anyway. Like one of the first things I'll be doing once again off iron is upgrading that furnace to an iron furnace. For a bit more faster smelting. And we'll be able to collect all the ores that are around here. But once we got Silent Gear up and running, I will definitely be doing a lot more mining off camera in between episodes. Make sure I've got enough stuff to get started on the next project. Which, as I said in the beginning, it, it might be mechanism. I might just stick with going with create and do a little create startup. Because one. It's going to be easier and it's going to be cheaper to start with create for or process or processing or we can go mechanism and go full bore and try and go straight for like the uh triple i believe which we need like the electrolytic separator the purification chamber enrichment chamber crusher and energized smelter Uh, we can we can either work on that or we can just do the the thing is if I uh, well for create we need to go to the nether to get um quartz because we need quartz to make the what are they called <clears throat> create uh those two wee little things what are they called 
these electron tubes. Do we need quartz for that? But I think mechanism is probably going to be our best bet to start with. Even though it's the more expensive one, it's going to be the better option. And there goes my pick. Let's just slash home. What have we got here? 16. Amass some copper ingots from your exploits in fluid manipulation. What? I haven't done any fluid manipulation. What are you on, game? What are you on? Nope, that's wrong. You in there. You, you. One, two, three. I'll cook that down and get us the bronze we need to start working on our tools. So I think for the sword, we need two ingots and some sort of rod. So if we go to silent gear, And it doesn't really tell us the, the stats of the of the rods. But we'll cook up some iron. We'll find the bloody stuff. I think we're gonna use iron as our tool rods. Because that's um that's part of a quest. I need to get iron for a quest. Oh yeah, I didn't do the math correctly. There's three, t three to one, isn't it? <clears throat> quest. Okay, so to make the tool rod, just combine those two together, I believe, isn't it? Oh no. This gets me four tool rods, which is what I need. So to make the sword is one tool rod, two bronze. Okay, so this has a durability of 300, enchantment value 12, 5.5 5 attack damage. Let's just compare that to a normal iron sword. A normal iron sword is six. Probably better to do that, but like, no, it's 6.5. 1.8.6 so it's a little better but it can be repaired so magnetic it pulls things back pulls things to us flexible takes more, less damage sharp gain harvest speed and attack damage as durability is lost okay i can i can deal with that pickaxe and probably three isn't it yep so we will compare this just put that in so this has a mining speed of six and it can harvest diamonds and as soon as we get some diamonds we can diamond tip it which then can i think can put it to a obsidian mining level there's a nice look for the elementium sword anyway we'll just go with bronze for everything right now because There we go. We got all our tools. It'll last a bit longer. So we need to make repair kits. And one reason I've used the bronze is because it is a lot cheaper. We need to make the crude repair kit. So we need six boards, an iron, and a stick. Five boards, sorry. and we were cooking up some iron we make our crew repair kit missing a piece of uh, and a set so that's that put that in there boom i think just do this it adds it all in one go yeah 
So that can be used to repair our tool on the go. Look at that. We've got some foods. Let's go and see what this pick is like. I'm pretty sure there is a way to add like mining speed to things. <coughs> um, binding, grip, coating, tip. Uh, shot. Yeah, example tip. Just what, what? Does it make this tip blueprint? I need two blueprint paper, an oil paper, and stone. But we need to go and find some sugar cane for that. Let's just go test out this new bronze pickaxe. Oh, actually. Uh, when I was mining, I found a way down to that cave somewhere. Oh, it's there. Where's this? I believe. Yeah. So we can get down to this cave. Now we've got a better, a better weapon. How would you get this? Get, I got affix from a monster. Oh, it was that the shield? I don't care about the shield. I never use shields. I prefer to have the torches in my offhand at all times. There's a lot of iron down here, which is good. That's a weird generation. No. Very straight. But we got our silent gear, we got our tools, we got our <clears throat> a nice massive area for mining. But now, I can get all the things, and we can get started on the uh, probably try and get started on mechanism on next episode. And that was not what I meant to do. But I do need a diamond pick, to mine the platinum. But I don't recall uses for platinum. And I think our early game power will probably be ethylene. So I need to get some sort of farm up and running. So I can make the biomass required. I don't need the floor. I'm not going to fill my inventory with unnecessary ores. Could also start power. Four power. There's a basic reactor up and running. Spooder. You can ask me for Spooder. I need to eat. I am. Oh. Get knotted, zombies. You can sod off as well. No one asks for your opinion. Like, why, why is why, just freezes randomly? What is lead? I don't think I need lead for anything, like, right off the bat. Or zinc. One of those tur quark tur tortoises. Look at that. Pretty that looks. These shaders. That's another thing, like, as soon as, the quicker we can get the mystical agriculture as well, the quicker we can, like, just grow everything we need. Come on, Flappy. That skeleton is going to be a pain. You in refined glowstone armor, which is gold armor.
prosperity. Take this gold. But I'm going to do a lot of this off camera and hopefully you you're interrupting me get lost an ancient crystal oh nice this is one thing with me like i don't notice my health uranium i don't need uranium that i do need that is what i do need redstone And I'm out of torches. So, I think this is ideal. I'm going to slash home. Come home. Get some more torches up and going. And we can then get more. More resources. To... Head into mechanism, and I love mechanism. You ever say, "Oh, mechanism is OP. Mechanism is OP." What? Well, yeah, but it's long. It takes a while to get into mechanism. You get to the point where you are OP in mechanism. It takes ages. But I'm gonna create some more bronze. Fifteen and five enough coal in here for that yeah to create some more bronze we will i will do a substantial amount of mining off camera so we can progress a little faster as i said the goal is to get as op as possible as quick as possible because we're gonna rush to get that all the modium and hopefully not die by the warden when we get there Get to the deep dark to find the all, mo all the modium. But I'm going to do all the modium. There's a charm I need. Charm of all the modium sight. Stick that on our to-do list. Because we need this. So we do need a venture in there to get the blaze powder for this. But this bit's easy enough to get the all the modium powder. It's just going into the nether to get the the mundane potions for the stuff to make the mundane potions right that's that and let's fill up our repair kit our repair kit's filled and you just put your tool and your repair kit done so i'm going to do a little bit of off camera mining we will come back we will come back and we will have a quick gander of what we are at i will be right back hey so i've done a little bit of mining this is literally like five minutes from when i ended last segment but I have found our first diamonds. Yeah, it's a nice three. We'll open up our backpack. Diamonds. Me personally, diamonds aren't a huge thing in modded Minecraft because they're not as <clears throat> they're not as like end gamey as. I know we get netherite now in vanilla, but like you get you get diamonds, you're like you're, you're sorted for a while. I've also found a lot of iron ore. The, the spawner there, I found. There's one over there, a husk spawner, and there's another one down there. So we could potentially set up an early game XP farm. And Bob Drop Farm. So that is a monster spawner there. One of the monster boxes from Quark, which I don't want to play with. 
because they are terrible. They just spawn a bunch, a bunch of uh, mobs. I'll take the boat. I know the boat is used for something. Balan gear. But I'm not seeing this. Not, I was just supposed to say I'm not seeing a lot of mobs spawning, but I do that, and then there's a zombie the other side of this wall. This is the stuff I'm looking for. Redstone. Because without the redstone, I can't get into any sort of heck. Did die again. I got killed by one of those wilden thingamajiggies. The wolf ones. Is that osmium? Need the osmium. Oh. Oh, that's... No way. There is no way. There is no way this is the e this stronghold. Look at all the loot in there. But that's what we do in the next episode. We're gonna gear up. We're gonna create some armor. Let's just put a waypoint here. Dungeon? Question mark. And we're gonna explore this dungeon. We're gonna create some armor. We're gonna slash home first. We're gonna create some armor with uh, silent gear and see what we can get. And then we are going to explore that dungeon next episode. Like. Packing up can wait a moment. That's that's gonna be a lot of loot in there that will potentially boost us forward a lot. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one when we go explore that dungeon. Goodbye for now.